Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this FenSense wireless parking sensor. In this video review, I'll be going over the features and functions of this wireless parking sensor. And also, I will be demonstrating myself using it while I'm reversing this car. Now, as you can see right here, it just mounts really easily where the license plate would regularly go. And, um, you know, like I said, I've actually removed my license plate for the, the, uh, the purposes of this video video just so that you could actually see and focus on the actual unit now as you can see it has four screw holes but on this car there was only two screws um, holding the license plate in place so I've only used two screws and there are also anti-theft screws that it comes with um, and I'll go over those in just a moment so you can see it fits nicely around where the license plate would be and you can see the sensors right over here which is really cool in here there are two AA batteries which power the unit and on the packaging it says it can last uh, about five months and that is using it you know um, I think it's I think it had said five times a day so it can last quite a while and that's really good and you don't have to power it on or power it off it just stays in low power mode um, when you're actually not using it and then when you start using it it sort of powers on by itself so that's the unit itself as you can see it has a very sleek design it looks absolutely awesome now we're gonna go inside the car and we're actually going to use the unit to reverse park all right so first and foremost let's actually take a look at the packaging as you can see over here this is the packaging so you can see that it has a nice easy startup guide and it also has the more in-depth setup guide right here the packaging is actually beautiful in my opinion it looks absolutely awesome very simple very catchy very modern and here are some of the other things that it comes with now this is a tap launch button so it's a tap button right here and what this can do is that you can actually press this sorry this is just a little piece of the packaging sticking to my hand over there um, you can press this and it'll actually launch the app so that you don't have to go in on your phone and launch the app and launch the app you can leave your phone mounted and then just press this and it also clips onto the steering wheel just like that very very simple very simple and easy to use okay it's also very easy to set up now this right here uh, can be used as a phone mount so like i said you can mount your phone okay on like your vent or on your car and you can use your own phone mount too um, and then you can just press this so you never have to actually touch your phone it's very seamless okay I, I have a, another vehicle a 2017 Honda CRV and that vehicle has rear view uh, parking sensors and a rear view camera well it has the rear view camera not not the sensors but you can see where you are with the camera and I have to say that you know on that vehicle it's seamless because it's built in with all of these things together it seems just as seamless um, on the actual on on this unit okay and i'm like retrofitting this on a mazda 3 a 2010 mazda 3. now these are the anti-theft screws as you can see the type of heads on the screws um, allow them to be anti-theft and also you also get all of the tools that you need so right here we have some uh, keys that we can use um, you know I use them to uh, install the batteries and to install the screws and so forth now like I said I just left my regular um, screws license plate screws in place for the purposes of this video um, but like I said these are the anti-theft screws so what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to reverse the car so I'm just gonna get the app set up right over here all right so I'm going to just leave my phone like that Okay, now as you can see, this is the FenSense app. It's really easy to use, really easy to set up. It literally took me like a few minutes to get it all set, it, set up. Now I'm gonna click on the parking right here. And as you can see, that is uh, sort of the gauge of what's behind me. Now behind me is uh, a vehicle. So I'm reversing towards a vehicle. Now what you'll see, you can see there's a vehicle right there, okay, just so you understand. And so you know uh, that I'm telling the truth. I'm gonna put the car in reverse right now release the emergency brake and I'm gonna start moving back slowly and you'll see and you'll actually hear as I get closer so I'm continually moving back continually moving back a little bit more moving back a little bit more and you can see right there it's letting me know that I'm close with the audible sound right there I'm gonna go back a little bit more just so you can fully see you can see those lines disappearing it's really cool now that tells me I should be stopping. Now I'm going to put it in drive and go forward also so that the sound stops. All right. Continually going forward. It is one of the coolest 
automobile accessories that I've seen because that's one of the things once I got my 2017 CRV and I saw how useful the rear view camera was for sensing when I was moving back and knowing when to stop and I drove this Mazda 3 my other car our other car you know I kind of missed that camera so this makes it so easy and seamless to use the sensors when you are parking and you can mount it on the rear or the front of your car and you can make any adjustments that you need to make so that it knows and it senses accurately so you can adjust you can you can configure how how far away the license plate is uh, the license plate mount is from your rear bumper so it's or your front bumper if that's the case it's really really useful and seamless and that's basically it in this video i just wanted to do a review of the fensens wireless parking sensor i hope that you've enjoyed this video review please give it a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching